buddy Cat Matt here. I haven't done uh, done too many videos lately. It's been an extremely busy year running the Monsters of Rock series up here on the rock. Congratulations, uh, Mike and Casey Keel, for being the points champion and being the most consistent fisherman all year long. My hat's on to you. Uh, you guys did a great job. Uh, today, I just wanted to get back to the roots of what I do and kind of try and teach y'all a little bit about flathead fishing, especially in the fall. This is September, September uh, what, 16th. I'm anchored down here at the I-5 bridge, pretty popular spot for flathead fishing. Uh, everybody knows about it, that's why I do videos in these spots. I don't know, I like hearing all them, hey, I know where you're at. Good, everybody knows where I'm at. Uh, now today, we got about 70 degree water temperature. The water's dropped about 10 degrees uh, in the last week and a half or so. Uh, the fish, you can still catch fish in your typical summer spots right now, but you're also going to start having some fish start to migrate towards areas they're going to spend the winter in. This just happens to be one of them. Uh, and today, today I'm going to be using some live shad, you know, 10, 15 inches, 17 inches long. Uh, fish, fish love these uh, in, the, in the fall. The protein value is really good. Uh, we got clear, fairly clear water right now. So that extra flash that a shad gives off really helps Flathead locate these baits. As the water drops into the mid and low 60s, I'll use the same bait, only I'll shrink them down in size. You can use anything from a 3 or 4 inch shad to 7, 8 inch shad. I'm not saying you won't catch one on a great big shad or even a bluegill or whatnot, but uh, I just prefer shad when they're available. Right now they're all over the place. So uh, it's a great time of the year to be on the water. And today I'm actually going to try something a little different. I'm in an open area. I just got back from Memphis, Tennessee. I learned a ton of stuff. Uh, congratulations to everybody that uh, placed down there, including my buddies uh, Jesse and Tyson. They didn't place, but they had a really, really good showing for a couple of guys who'd never been down there before. Uh, I'm going to do something I don't normally uh, promote, which is I'm going to use circle hooks today uh, for flatheads. Typically in your summer pattern, flatheads, especially if you're fishing for them in the daytime, they're already on cover. You're going into the cover after them. So I'd say 80 to 90 percent of the time when they when they take a bait, they don't move very far. And they especially don't turn and run very often, which kind of leaves a, a circle hook pointless. Uh, you know, you need that fish to turn and run so that hook can rotate into the corner of the mouth. However, now when the fish are kind of moving around, they're in a fall pattern, I thought now would be a good time uh, for me, since I don't use circle hooks much. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw some circle hooks today, see what I can get. Uh, and a last note before I actually start doing some fishing here, uh, I love where camp fishing is going. Um, it was great to go down to the Mississippi River Monsters. George Young Jr. did a great job. It was nice meeting all you fishermen down there. Johnny Coleman, uh, been wanting to meet you for a long time. Uh, you're kind of a flathead guy at heart like I am. Uh, it was also nice meeting Phil King and Bill Dance and some of you other guys that I kind of looked up to for such a long time. Uh, I, I love where it's going. I love that we can all be in the same place together and. And, and be friendly and promote the sport regardless of whether you're, you know, you fish this rod holder or that rod holder or this rod or that rod or whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm lucky enough to have some great people uh, behind me. Uh, the elite rod holders, Jesse Simmons, I've started using them recently and I absolutely love the adjustability in them. Uh, it doesn't matter what situation you fish up here. We sometimes we'll fish in the dam. It's nice to be able to rotate these things around. Uh, if you want to drift, you can you can lower your 
degree to zero percent or ten percent degree angle. Uh, if you like your rods up in the air, you can jack them up to 45 degrees if you want to, 30 degrees, whatever you want. Uh, I'm just a big fan of these uh, rod holders. Uh, Mike Paul, Never Snag Anchor. Uh, I know there's several of this style of anchor out there right now, but your anchor uh, is just awesome. I absolutely love it. It's 10 pounds. When you're, when you're guiding like I do, if you're fishing a tournament and you're, you're hitting a lot of spots, you know, pulling a light anchor, uh, hooks up anywhere you want to go. It's a great deal. So, uh, thank you, Mike, uh, for your sponsorship and your support. Uh, GNS cheese bait, I know I, I don't do any of my, my uh, flathead fishing with GNS cheese bait, of course, but uh, they're great people. They make a great bait, great fishermen. Uh, thanks, Matt Sewell Hooks, Apex Tackle, JNN Dip Worms, uh, G3 Boats, all of you people that uh, helped me. And I'll even go as far as to say all you, all you sponsors that help all the other guys uh, promote our sport. Uh, we appreciate y'all, and if we're going to grow, we need y'all, so thank you. Um, now, all my friends know I'm a little long-winded, uh, but I just love talking catfishing, and, and uh, you know, it's my passion, uh, other than my wife. She's my passion, too. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this thing here. I'm going to get some baits in the water and see if, see if I can't catch some fish here in mid-September on the Rock River with some circle hooks. See if these fish are starting to move into these wintery areas a little bit. And uh, hopefully I can get back here and get the camera on if I get one on. So stay tuned for hopefully a little flathead action on the Rock River.